today because I would like your help in choosing some really pretty uh, femi fabric. So something floral I think would be great to make a salon gown. So I will show you what I have and I know someone had asked for me to wear a shirt and tie but it is Minnesota and it is cold and there's snow right now on the ground and it's raining because it is a bit warmer. It's in the 30s I think it is. So it is warmer, but not enough for me to forego my jacket. So, good. I see that the, someone is watching. So yes, this is working. I was trying a different app earlier and it was not working. So I was a little concerned. All right, so here's what I'm looking at. Maybe. So this is one idea. Kind of cute, but not enough colors, I think. We're going for the more um, very feminine experience for the cape. <laughs> and so here is, oops, there's a few of them here in one spot, which is great. I was kind of looking around and seeing if I could find all the, like really cute, adorable fabric. Uh, and there's a bunch scattered everywhere. So you'll be going on a little tour with me. So here's another one. So what do y'all think of that? Good? Of course, if you're watching this after I've published this video uh, as a replay, you can always tell me anyway. I can always come back and buy more and I can just buy some as a cape as well. Okay, so here's another one. It's got a few more colors to it. But nothing that really screams like maybe humiliation for a guy underneath the cape. All right, so here's another one. Wait, is that butterflies? Those are butterflies. No, we need flowers. We need something very, very cute and adorable. Let's see, what else do we see? Oh, there is pink. So a little bit better, but I'm thinking something more, maybe 50s. A little bit, so you have to let me know your opinion. Oh, yes, this one. Kind of like abstract flowers. I don't know, it's a little, little sheer. Maybe for a nighty, perhaps. Ah, can't even grab it. There we go. Look how sheer that is. Hmm, an idea for later, another time. Maybe a dress for that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep walking until I see something else that catches my eye. I saw something earlier that was really adorable. Okay, this one, there's a jungle cat. So probably no, can't have anything that has a touch of manliness to it. Mm -mm, won't work. Cause I'm almost thinking about adding some lace to it too. <laughs> oh, that'd be perfect. Maybe ruffle butt panties and then a feminine cape. All right, let's see what else they have here. Okay, some other choices. So I'm hoping somebody's gonna speak up on what they would prefer if they were in the salon chair and they had to be caped up, whether they wanted to or not, for a perm or maybe some highlights or a roller set. Let's see. I'm trying not to knock all these down. Okay, that one, this one, this one. Ooh, I see something kind of darling. Gotta see this. <laughs> Look at that. So we got the pink ribbons in there. Got a little bit of lace. Hmm. I wonder how I can use that fabric. That'd be kind of fun. Hmm, what else should we look at? Oh, I gotta try to find that one, which I thought was really darling. So, just in case of nothing else, I'll have to tell Carmen that she has to get this fabric too for when she has her sissies in the chair. So this is for you. Give it that way. 
what would you want to have caped up in or in a gown because this will be for a salon gown so what would your ultimate fantasy be i kind of like this one what do y'all think hmm and I don't see anybody responding. Are you guys not awake? I know it's a little early. It's nine o'clock central time here. Or is it 10? Shoot, I think it's 10. <laughs> I've been up since like 5 a.m. this morning. Ooh, this is kind of cute. How about little heels? Look at that. That'd be cute. And it's really easy to find out a man's size and heels. It really is. And there's all these shops for that. I'm making a mess already. So here's pink. Ooh, this would be cute for a cape. Ooh, wait, back to this one, which I had my eye on earlier. So this one is silk. So it feels very, very lovely. <laughs> so now you pair this silk type of cape or gown with pantyhose or stockings and you rub them together and it's so smooth and delicious. This one says it's silk but it doesn't really feel like that. Yeah, there's some, well, feels like silk but it's got a little bit of little nubbins, a little sparkly on it. I don't know. Alright, let's see what else is there. Now this would be a nice cape, I think. I don't know if you can see like the, oh, the colors look so off on the screen, but it's really shiny and green. It's like emerald green, it's really pretty. Okay, let's see if we can find anything else. So, I'm thinking this one, if nothing else. I kinda like that. But remember, I need someone to scream and holler at me if they see one that they like. Let's see, I think we were down this aisle. I'll show you. There's a lot of fabric here. Oh, here we go. Should we get with the trend and do cameo? No, no, no. I don't think so. All right. So now we can do maybe lace. But can you imagine if you're getting your hair cut though? And then all the little hairs would just get caught in that. I don't think that would be as much fun. Unless it was for, for some sort of punishment, then yes. Then all those little hairs tickling and getting everywhere. And even trying to put it in the wash doesn't always work. Okay, I see something cute. Now this is vinyl, nice and shiny. But I already have, I think, at least one cape like this already. So pass on that. But there is some really fun fabric like that over yonder. So we'll check that out. I'm not seeing any more like floral fabric. But this cute stuff reminds me of the disco era. I would try to dance for you right now, but since I'm like holding the camera, <laughs> you won't, well, it'll be like the Blair Witch Project, and I don't think anybody wants that, especially me. So, okay, so now we got some, oh, where was it? Oh, here we go. But this is, it's cute. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> it's cute, but doesn't really scream, like, like really, like, Girly girl. Unless we want as girly girl. Let's see. Oh, there's unicorns. Oh my goodness. The only problem with unicorns is, I mean, they're really, really cute. But if I saw someone wearing the cape and they had unicorns on it, I would think back to the Deadpool scene with the unicorn. <laughs> and so that'd be kind of like mandatory. So if you have to be covered in a unicorn, that, that's that uh, little thing he does is almost mandatory. Unless you're, we well, you know what, I'm just gonna leave that be. So, <laughs> okay, so here's like 
this really pretty vinyl. Look how shiny that is. And smooth. So, when I leave today, if there's any fabric that you guys were like, oh my god, cat, you just have to buy that. You have to make like a cape out of that. And just put it in the comments below and I'm sure I'll see it. And then if you want to be a mermaid, look at that. A mermaid with that one or like a evil mermaid. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. Let's see, any more? There's so much, so much fabric everywhere. All right, so let's go into another part, trying to avoid all people if possible. Ooh, there's some sexy costumes that you can make. Some nice patterns over there. Okay, I'm gonna swing over here. All right, so now there's shiny stuff. Perfect for like drag shows. Ooh. See, if I could figure out something to make with these, I think that would be kind of fun. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm. Usually, I love the purples. I go for the purples, but that's not as pretty in this. I think the yellow is just fabulous. Oh, and they have more. Ah. All right. I know, I know, we're getting off track. Sorry. Oh, ooh, they have like velvet cushy fabric. Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> I love this store. Ooh, now this would be cool. Okay, I swear we will go to the, the the correct fabric we're looking for, but let me just show you this. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Ooh, the only problem is I don't like wearing like, like too many layers of clothing, so oh, I would never be able to wear that in public. Unless I was out somewhere, like really fun and I've done that before <laughs> many many years ago though okay let's see do you see any flowers anywhere anywhere at all probably in the wrong spot for that okay let's go back out in public <laughs> okay so it's rather quiet here yes okay we'll pass by all the the licensed official stuff oh there's so much cute stuff Okay, let's see. <gasps> Yay! Oh, it's Christmas. <laughs> oh, look at the little Jack Russell Terrier. Okay, this is way jammed in there, so I'm not gonna try. But that's so cute. Oh. <sighs> okay, let's see. Let's find flowers. Butterflies are not flowers, so I'm not gonna show you those. Let's see. Oh, there's like little tiny stuff. Do you see that? There's little stuff, but that really won't show up on camera. So for those who like photos of themselves while they're in the chair getting all beautified, uh, they always want photos. And Carmen and I are always happy to oblige, of course. <laughs> but you want something that'll really show up. Now, this is pretty. So that's kind of really cute. So what do you think? If you were to get into this lawn chair and you had no choice on getting a like spiral perm or a bubble perm um, or a roller set, like you were kind of like forced in there, tied if nothing else, uh, what would just scream like girly girl and that you'd be embarrassed to wear? So, see that's what I'm kind of going for with this. All right, so I really like that one, and I really like the other one over there that was really silky, because I think that would have other benefits to it because it's silky. It's really just smooth. This one I think is cotton. Let me see. I could be, yep, it's 100% cotton. So there's that one. Let's see what else. There's little tiny ones, and that doesn't really scream girly girl. And here's some ones that are blue. But I don't want you being blue in the chair. If you're going for a roller set or a perm, you've got to be happy. <laughs> or at least you got to fake being miserable, because we all know you really want to do this. 
All right, let's see. And there's more of that. So there's lots, lots of little flower fabrics. And the more modern, I, I hear that floral and black is really popular. At least that was last year. Okay, let's see if there's any other fun fabrics. Oh, there's little kitties. Meow, meow. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, okay. Let's see what else is there. There's so much. You even have Thanksgiving fabric here. <laughs> I've never really done like the holiday fabrics. Okay, let's see. What else is there? <gasps> there is so much. Oh my goodness. Look at that. There's more. Okay, there's that and that. Oh, there's this. Now, if this was bigger, that would be cute. That reminds me of like my bedding from back in the 80s. It'd be so much easier if you were like right here with me and be like, cat, come over here and just dragging me over to the fabric that you would love to be under. <sighs> I wouldn't let you get any blues or black backgrounds. It would have to be colorful at least. Oh, there's some yellows, but they're kind of gross. I don't know. I love mustard eating it. Um, but not wearing it. That's not my thing. Oh, <laughs> I should specify like wearing mustard because I did a, a shoot long, long time ago where I was covered in stuff. And one of the things I was covered in was mustard, like this big jar of mustard. It was really gross. I don't think I could eat mustard probably for a month. And cake mix too. Did a lot of like cake batter being dump on, dumped on me. I don't think I could eat cake for probably about a year. <laughs> Did a lot of those shoots. Okay, here's more. So it's kind of cute. Again, it's blue. But oh, little birdies. I can't wait for spring. With all the snow, it'd be nice to have spring. Okay, that's music. <sighs> Let's see. I'm on my knees for you right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's kind of cute. Lots of butterflies, though. And this is all flower. Look at that. I forget the name of that flower. All right, let's see. So, and I don't know if no one's either commenting or... Wait, wait, let me see something. I'm using a different software because my last software, I could see like your all comments. Perfect. Okay, I found your guys' comments. Alrighty, so. <laughs> okay, so um, thank you, Guy. I like it. I'm glad you like my leather jacket. It's my favorite. I've had it for years. I actually used to ride bike and I used to be the biker. Well, there's kids around, so I can't say the word I want to say. But uh, I'll say Biker Bay. And let's see. Oh, you guys are so sweet. All right, great. So now <laughs> I can see your comments. So I'm sorry I was not like paying attention to you guys before. This is a new software I'm using because the other one would not let me like see what I'm shooting. Because at the salon where I got my hair done, I couldn't flip it. So I couldn't like get the angles correct. Hi. Hey, Kevin. And hi, Claire. Aw, you're so sweet. Come on out here to frozen cold Minnesota and maybe we can be friends here. Anyway, so what do you all think of the fabric so far? Now that I can actually see responses, this will, well, be easier for me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep showing you these. If you guys are bored of the florals, we can go into the more vinyl department. And I think there is so like either leather or fox leather over there. So, but I do already have plenty of black vinyl, so I'd want something different. The red vinyl. Okay. Well, I, I agree. I really like that too. So that might be a cape for I'm keeping for myself. Uh, of course, I will share it um, when I do videos and whatnot. Um, um, right now, I'm looking for something. Okay, here's the premise of what I'm looking for. Maybe this will make more sense. Okay, so what I'd like, I would like some kind of floral fabric that, uh, like, if I'm having a sissy in the chair, kind of as punishment and getting, like, a 
like a perm or a roller set. So kind of more humiliation type of thing. So something that's very femmy, very girly. So I want your opinion on those, but yes, I like the opinions on the other ones too, but the red vinyl, yes, was hot. So when I see that, it's like, oh my God, I want, almost want to do a shoot where I am having someone being in the pool. So having someone wearing that and like having their hair like washed in a pool and then coming out of it and you can just see the water just pouring off the cape. I think that would be great. Silky, perfect. So, okay, great. That's what I thought. The silky satin floral. So I think I will get that one because it's so gorgeous. All right, then if you guys are bored of the florals, <laughs> since maybe we got one already picked out, uh, then let's go over to the more fun ones. Lightweight but smooth fabric. Yeah, I think that one floral one I showed you all earlier would be great. It's lightweight and very pretty. Oh, there's nursery fabric. I don't really do the age play. So, I mean, it's cool and all, but that's just not really my thing. And I'd have to study it a lot more. So. Okay, let's see. Uh, can I get your expert advice on a question I have you to mind? Sure, shoot. And I'll let you know if it's too personal or whatever. I have to make sure there's no children around. So let's disappear over over here. Try not to get other people in the shop. People. Okay. Huh. I think the roof leaks here. Okay. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh, this is outside fabric. That wouldn't be as much fun. It'd be a little heavy. What are you doing? Oh, I have my friends on here and I'm picking up fabric. Oh. So I'm getting their help. So I know I probably look insane. Oh, that's so funny. Because <laughs> after doing a documentary, I wanted to be in it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm going to go over this way. A lot more outdoor fabric. Pretty. Ooh, I wonder what happened here. Well, I didn't do it. I can't be blamed. <laughs> All right, here, let me see. Uh, let's see. Okay, um. <laughs> All right, Claire, be careful. When you show your, uh, your information like that, other people will probably be emailing you. So, and if, you, if that's what you want, that's totally cool. But just letting you know, you'll probably get bombarded by emails by many, many people. Okay. Do not fall. Yeah, I don't want to fall. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already quite in pain already. So I don't know what happened the other day, but I, my back hurts really, really bad. And so it's really difficult to get in and out of a car and everything else like that and <laughs> anyway so here is more things oh uh, let's see uh so this one person says want to do a fetish head shave with my wife want her to cape me and shave my head not sure she's into that how to bring it up okay so i believe i have something all about that on my f and q page uh, in the blog. So if you go to like livejournal.com slash haircutting fun, uh, one of the tags on the left side of the menu is like F and Q. And um, click on that and there is like a bunch of things I wrote up many, many years ago because lots of people have the same questions about how to bring up their head fetish or their head shaving fetish with their significant other. And then I give some advice of like how to do that. And I will double check it when I get home to make sure I do ha have all that because I I remember writing that back in like early 2000s, but I, all I can say is, you know, you got to have, you have to ask. So communication is key. Um, you can always ask what her fantasy is and tell her that maybe you, can, you guys can switch up fantasies. Like you guys can do a fantasy one night of hers that she'd like to do. And then, uh, you know, then she can do one of yours. So kind of look at it as like spicing up the marriage or the relationship. But definitely talk to her about it, because you'll never know. And, and even, even if the other spouse says no, um, it'll just keep percolating in their mind. And if you ask gently another time, they might say yes. So don't give up. So like here in Minnesota, we have a saying where you have to ask somebody 
like, well, here from Minnesota, you have to ask them like three or four times before they say yes. But when I was getting divorced, my lawyer said, you have to ask at least seven times and on the eighth time they'll say yes. So take that for what it's worth. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, so Kevin's always wanted to make a cape from uh, fox leather, or if it's too stiff and heavy. Well, my jacket is pure leather. It is heavy, but it's very flexible. I've had this since, I'm trying to think when I got my leather jacket. Uh, probably about over 10 years ago, and it's still flexible. I haven't really done anything with it. Um, but there's conditioning you can use for leather. So I would say go for it, but um, some capes are heavy. Like I have a really, um, a black shiny one that's very heavy. And um, it's kind of nice because it gets really hot and then you stick someone underneath a very hot dryer and that's kind of fun. All right, so here's some of the other fabrics. So browns, these are all uh, fox leather. And they're very lightweight. So, see how thin they are. They feel really nice and smooth. They look great. All right, so what do I think about like a real leather cape? I say go for it. I think that would be a lot of fun. Especially when, if you're doing it in winter, <laughs> then the person would probably appreciate it because it's, it's warm. I have shaved my head uh, in winter before and I remember one, my first time of getting my head, no, my second time of getting my head shaved was in a garage in February on the coldest day of February. And I was very, no, I, I don't remember if I had wore a cape or not that time, but I'm sure I wished I did if I didn't because that cape would have been warm. Oh, okay, so here's some more. So here it is, yeah. So this one you can tell it's, well, yeah, it's kind of like fox leather, but this is blue. And this one's like a purple. So very lightweight. And then, I guess that's white. This is very bright, oh my goodness. Kind of nice. And a neon green. See, when I see green things, I'm almost tempted to do like a green screen <laughs> with those because I'm kind of crazy. Okay, let's see. Is it a silver color that you like in a cape? Uh, I like the shiny things. So, like my earrings are a little shiny, but <laughs> so I'm mostly wearing silver because I really like shiny. Uh, but I don't know. I really like the vinyls and. I like more color, so I like colorful things, like the red vinyl, which y'all probably um, saw it first. Ah, uh, what else? Like the yellows and the purples, like the shiny purples, like the fluorescent ones. So I like those. Black is fine, but it has to have a shine to it. Um, yeah, that's the kind of things I like. All right, so let's see. Ooh, here we go. Here's more fancier material. Look at that. And these are pretty lightweight too. And I'm not sure what, ooh, I don't think I like this one. It's very bumpy. This one I kind of like. So is this supposed to be like snake or something? Does anybody know? Well, at least it's fake. So it's not like killing an animal to, <laughs> to make myself a cape for my pleasure or anything. And then, yeah, it's amazing the material they have nowadays. So, and they have black. And then it looks like belongs in a car, so your headrest and things. You got the black. So those are those. And I think this is real leather. No, nope. what the heck is this? This is very utility fabric headliner it's oh it's like foam okay so here's some red so yeah that's all the specialty stuff all right oh it's alligator leather oh thank you good to know huh 
Learning something new every day. Yay! Creating a wrinkle in my brain, they say. <laughs> okay, let's see. I, hmm. Try to see if they have any more of like the really fun stuff. That's more, I think, for picnics and things. So I think that is it. So I will definitely go purchase that one uh, satin floral. So that'll be fun. And then probably another time I will buy that red one. Or I might buy it today. <laughs> I gotta see how much you know everything is. Because I'm thinking for the gown, I'm gonna need five yards. And then, well, if I'm just making a simple cape out of the red vinyl, then I probably only need four yards. So. All right, so thank you for that. So we got about half an hour left. Thank you for seeing my hair, it looks great. I will put you guys down. So if you guys wanna ask me questions for the next half an hour, go for it. I'm gonna see if I can set you down. So, ah. one second. <laughs> if you fall, I'm sorry, but at least you won't be hurt, so that's good. Let's try this one more time. This thing has feet. Okay. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> now I have to stir my tippy toes. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can move you down a little bit, so I don't feel like so so short. I'm vertically challenged. I know. All righty. Sorry, I was trying to move the comments. Second. <laughs> Read. Okay, so does anybody have any questions or anything about anything? Because I know last time I was in the, the, the salon chair, I could see like a million comments going, but I couldn't respond because I was having my hair done, which is holding up pretty good. So I'm, I'm pleased. Though it wasn't cooperating all that well this morning, but I got it to work. So, no one's going to ask me questions or anything like that? Do I still enjoy straight razor shaving? Yes, I do. I haven't done it for a while though, um, so I kind of miss it. I was thinking about it the other day. I need to plan a day when I go to the hotel um, to shoot because my I'd like to shoot in my garage, but I can't do it yet. It is not ready and there's no electricity or anything like that. So. I've started creating a shoot list of every type of thing I need to shoot when I'm in the hotel. And one of them is I'm going to be using a straight razor on my face. Because if you can see, I'm very, very hairy. And you can't, but I am. <laughs> so I was, I was in um, Stillwater, was it last year, two years ago? Maybe it's last year. And they had this really cool amp this antique shop and they had a lot of really amazing vintage like barbershop things and so I found one that was made in Germany um, it is a shaving stand so we got the mirror and then you have this little stand for the brush and then the little bowl for the soap and it actually came with soap and so what I'm gonna do that's me one of the things I'm shooting is I'm going to do a face shave with that I think that'd be great and then what else am I doing I have a whole shop shoot list so and I'm gonna have to pick you up for a moment. I'll get out of your way. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no problem. <laughs> and um, so that's one of them. And then the other one um, is the shirt and tie. So I haven't forgotten about those who like the whole shirt and tie. I'm gonna put you back. Let's see. <laughs> Yes, I have used the straight razor on, on 9090 boys. Yes, definitely. And for some reason, they're usually fearful when I have a razor in my hand. Because <laughs> it's very simple to cut something off. Because it's very sharp. And so, <laughs> they have to obey or else. And so. But I haven't been known to slip just yet, but there is always a first time for everything. And so. <laughs> but yes, I do miss a straight edge. So. And it's winter, so I haven't really been shaving. Because <laughs> it's cold here. 
Now, if I lived somewhere warmer, I probably would be shaving more, but um, it is cold here. Although it is warmer this year than last year. We had several like below freezing days. I remember, oh, I think it was the last year, the year before, we were actually negative 25 degrees. So very cold. Uh, let's see. There was a barber chair in Miss, Mistress Lotus's uh, studio. Uh, yes, the barber chair is no more. Uh, I had to sell it. Um, I had to sell the barber chair that was there. Uh, I have done many, many things <laughs> with the barber chairs. So I have done, what have I done? I have done full body shaves. And that took me, I think, four hours to do. To do a complete body takes four hours. And that's with the, um, the nice cream and the straight razor. Because when I do shavings, I only like to use a straight edge razor because that's, I think that gives a very excellent shave, a closer shave than it does um, like the disposables. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, I have done like the clippers for the head shave. Um, I'm trying to think if I've ever done a head shave without the clippers first. Maybe a little bit to start. Let's see. Maybe you should post your to-do list as is so you can see your ideas and send you some ideas. <laughs> uh, I have plenty of ideas. Um, I, I only have like, a, I have certain hours that I can shoot. So like, I have to be a good little wifey and be home in the morning to take care of things and at night to take care of things. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know if I wanna, well, okay, some of the things I'm shooting is for this custom video that someone uh, hired me to do. Um, so I can't shoot some of those. Um, I don't know, maybe I can put it with something else. But yeah, just a lot of things. So <laughs> sorry, I can't give out too much detail, but yeah, sometimes I get hired by people to do custom things. And so, um, yeah. But yeah, anyway, so I have plenty of things to do. Um, am I going to shave his head? No, this the shoot is just, just a little me. I haven't uh, had, well, I've had plenty of people ask me to shave their heads and um, I have not done that for a while. Um, yeah, uh, try to think. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know if I should do that or not yet. So about shaving other people because I don't have my own place. So, because it kind of can be expensive, like if I were to go to Carmen's salon and uh, do head shaves and force haircuts and whatnot. So I don't really do that. Uh, so, but Carmen does things. Um, so I think it's cheaper that way because otherwise it'd pay for my time and her time. And I think a lot of people just don't want to pay that much, which is fine. It's totally understandable. Let's see what else. Uh, I'd love to have my head shaved. Um, uh, for the first time by you, uh, scissor me down before buzzing. <laughs> oh yes, you want it nice and slow because you want to be able to uh, experience everything. And so what I would suggest doing is, yes, the scissors that we can see all the hair falling because <laughs> it's going to be many years or months depending on how long you want your hair to grow back. So yes, you want to experience all of your hair falling and seeing it fall. And the clippers is kind of quick. So I'd probably do um, scissors, but also the manual clippers, because everybody should, should experience that too, how it was done many years ago. Those are fun. I have a nice German pair. And definitely the scissors and clippers and nice warm hot lather, of course. So yeah, but again, that would have, I'd have to work out with Carmen and it can get expensive. So I don't know if you're okay. If like money's no object type of thing, you're not gonna complain. Cool. Then you can contact myself or Carmen. Uh, but she gets really annoyed when guys are like, okay, I want a perm. I want a roller set. I want the whole Femi experience, the, the waxing and the makeup and the nails and everything. And she tells them what it would cost. And they're like, oh, that's too expensive. And then it's like, no, it's, it's not cheap getting all this done. Even for, for a woman to get their hair done is it's not cheap at all. 
so yeah all I can say is don't complain about the prices the drives are crazy <laughs> is the hair over my eyes bother me uh, Grant says he can fix it it's cute it's really cute I like it except when I'm working and I'm typing then yes I will I'm constantly like doing this and then was it on was it yesterday or Thursday I was getting really annoyed by my hair so I just took it and went and I didn't care how I looked because <laughs> I was like trying to type and I have to type a lot and so yes it was bugging me but no you're not cutting my bangs I want to keep my bangs so sorry you're not cutting them what I want to do is I want to take my hair because I wait for my bangs to grow they're getting longer which is nice I could almost tuck them behind my ear of course it's staying now it wouldn't earlier but uh, I want to do the the victory rolls that's what I really want to do I think that'd be gorgeous let's see so Kevin says he's never experienced Emmanuel Clippers but he owns a vintage set from the 50s Ooh, should try it if nothing else what you should do is at least clip a little bit of your name because you should be able to do that and it won't matter if you screw up back there because if you do underneath no one's gonna see it anyway so I say go for it have some fun and that's yeah oh <laughs> okay so one of the things I'll be shooting at the hotel is um, last year was so busy I, I missed out on doing a lot of little special things for the holidays for the haircuttingfun.com site and so I'm trying to do things early so I already have like the Hanukkah and Christmas greetings are you done <laughs> set to they're scheduled so they're done but I want to do this really cute video and so that's one of the things I found a cute Santa dress and so that's one of the things I'll be shooting so you can look forward to watching that video near Christmas it's gonna be weird but it's gonna be fun <laughs> people will think I'm more crazier than I am which may or may not be true <laughs> all right let's see what else any more questions uh, there's like 18 more minutes and then I have to go so I have a busy day I got to record some audio and yeah that's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> and then writing too so I, I have a story to write so I'm on page two of that and it's it's gonna be fun it's sissy punishment so and what I'm gonna be doing too since a lot of people have questions about what I've done, you know, previously, basically my, my past life, so to speak, I will be writing stories and basing stories on that. So if you've ever wanted to know what I've done, like Kevin, your, your question earlier, uh, it'll be in stories. It'll be a story format. And I will try to write what I've experienced and I've experienced a lot of fun things, crazy things. So I think you guys will get a kick out of that. Let's see, when will you finish working in your garage? Will you take requests from people who want to get haircuts and head shapes from you? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, I do want to get the garage done because I will be doing, um, I want to do a video a day. And what the content of the video will be what you all want it to be. I know I've had people who wanted to see balloons, uh, shirt and tie, my feet, uh, let's see, shampoos, and I'm trying to think, um, bunch of things so what I'll be doing is I'll be opening up to requests for those who donate even a couple bucks I don't really care because I mean it all adds up really uh, and then because um, I mean I'll be doing 365 videos so I'm gonna need a theme or something to do so what I will do is I will go down the list has to be uh, YouTube uh, okay <laughs> gotta follow the rules so no nudity or uh, illegal stuff so things like that. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Let's see. Uh, hi, Paul. Hello back. Let's see. Does Carmen know you went to another stylist for her? No, I don't think so. Or maybe she doesn't really check Facebook. So I don't know. I know she was very upset one time when I went into a different stylist. <laughs> she was mad. Oh my God, was she pissed. And so I'm sure that now that somebody's listening or listening later will probably be like Carmen oh, you should have heard Kat go to this video from this time to this time and see Kat talk about a different stylist go kill her <laughs> and so I'm sure yeah if since I didn't tell Carmen I'm sure someone out there is gonna tell her for me 
I can't stop you. So I'm not even gonna bother asking because <sighs> Well, I have reasonings. I have my own reasonings. So if she chews me out, I I know what to say because she's she's done it before. <laughs> so oops. But I needed my hair done. I wanted my hair done earlier and I was a little annoyed because I wanted to go to work. Um you know, after the new year, I'd be like, you know, I'm a new cat, look at my cute hair. And I couldn't do that. I went back to work and my hair was still effed up. So I wanted it done. And I needed it done now. I'm gonna be that, well, I don't think I'm that kind of, like, gotta have it now. Mm. But give her a chance. So, but I will try to do more things with her eventually. So, but she's pretty busy too. Let's see, do you like the idea of having a barber chair with straps and restraints built into it? Well, it's hard to find a barber chair like that. So I have actually made my own restraints. Uh, when was that? This was many, many years ago. I think with my first barber chair, I think I've gone through, I think I'm on my fourth barber chair right now. So I had like the black one, the all black one. And then I had the one from like the 1920s or 30s the Padme one and then uh, no no it was the red one the red one was first so it was the red one and then I had the Padme and then it was green and then I believe I turned it black I'd have to look at photos um, I guess what well, I don't remember goodness it's been so long ago and then I had the yellow one and then now I have this one from the 70s which is black again so <laughs> um, but yeah I had my own straights restraints for that and um, so I remember the restraints I made for the first one matched the colors of the rubber chair, which I thought was super sweet. Um, and then I have, I still have some restraints that are put in a, in a, in a container. They haven't been touched. A lot of my stuff hasn't been touched in years. So they kind of put away where I'm sure they're crying. But <laughs> All right. Something about a cape towel. Um, do you mean like a towel of you put in there and then you put the cape on and you put it over you'll have to give me more information about that one okay well thank you girl for not telling on me but I'm sure somebody else will <laughs> that's the way it usually goes it's like let's let's stir up some drama yeah okay so does anybody else have any questions for me I'm sure I've probably annoyed the workers here <laughs> but there's no one around so hopefully I haven't scared off anybody from wanting to buy any of this gorgeous material behind me but I will buy some fabric and hopefully it's early enough in the morning where I'm not waiting in line for oh, like a long time one time I was here and I wanted to buy a couple things of fabric I was doing some really cool projects and I stood in line for an hour I'm not kidding it was crazy because they get so busy here. They got lots of good, great fabric. So, Have I ever had a cutting collar used on me? I'm not sure what that is, so I'm going to say no. If you want to explain that, that would be great. If you have a photo, because um, I'm not sure what a cutting collar is. That's interesting. I've had many things used on me. <laughs> uh, like flat top comb and then um, like the paper the the neck strip I've had that I've had all sorts of things and then like oh and I had a bunch of vintage things too okay if I could take a deep breath and think about it if you can go to a barbershop now uh, how would you get your hair cut okay I'll take I'll take a, a deep breath in <laughs> Uh, actually, what I would do is I really loved my flat top. No doubt. I wouldn't even have to think about it. I would definitely go for the flat top again. So I would get like a nice uh, fade here. Of course, well, it's a flat top, duh. And yeah, I loved it. It was amazing. Uh, I had that back in college. And I loved how when it was growing out, it reminded me of Arsenio Hall. And <laughs> back in like the the late 80s, I thought he was so damn hot and I loved how his hair was like, it was awesome. So no, I would definitely do that again and I really rocked the red. So when I was thinking about this this morning too, because my roots are showing. 
Purple's not my natural hair color. I wish it was, but it's not. And so I was thinking about maybe going red again. So I think that'd be kind of fun. And I would probably do the red. It was, I'm trying to think what color it was. I think it was like a copper red. It was really gorgeous. So I would probably do that again. Okay, what's a great icebreaker to try and explain to a stylist without having a fetish, without sounding like a scary perv? Oh, what kind of thing are you thinking of? Because um, most stylists are pretty open-minded. A lot of them attend like a hair, like the Chicago hair shows, and those have some very interesting. Oh, my battery's low. One second. Oh, close, close. Okay, yes. Okay, so. Um, just talk to them, be like, hey, you know, I'd like to have this done. Um, but yeah, they're very open-minded, very open-minded. Most of them are very liberal. So I'd say go ahead and ask. Uh, as for the stylus that I used, I found out that uh, roller sets were only 19 bucks. I couldn't believe it. I was like, seriously, only $19 for a roller set? Because I had seen some like um, older gals getting, you know, the, the typical like roller set. And I'm like, that is so fantastic. And she can only do magnetic rollers because I wanted to bring my own perm rods and have her do it and I walk out like that. But I guess they can't do the law. Damn it. But uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. So I was thinking about one of these days getting a roller set because that's another reason why I'm not going to cut my hair just yet. As much as I would love to get a flat top, I cannot. Okay, and so let's see. Oh, yay, I can. <laughs> With this application, I can actually just scroll down so I can see all your guys's. Uh, comments fantastic okay so uh, the hair cutting collars are if you don't know the really heavy or leather capes that just cover the top of the shoulders and that are tight they are a tight seal around the neckline uh, no I've had like a vinyl ones um, I think I've had those but nothing ever really heavy around the shoulders that is a really cool idea though so that might be a great use of some leather Maybe another time I'll have to take like a look at those more closely and then maybe another time I'll come pop back out here and get leather and uh, yeah maybe do one of those that'd be kind of cool let's see oh, okay so it is a rubber pad used in Europe oh and Europe has a lot of amazing things I love some of the things that come out of Europe like they have like those um, straps or not the straps the, the sticks when you do like a, a a perm set so then you take these uh, these plastic sticks and you put them in there so that kind of keeps the hair from having like you know where the band touches the hair so you don't have that it's really cool okay let's see <laughs> so someone says they're eagerly waiting for my next haircut it's going to be a while so as I said I would like to do um, some roller sets I really miss those I I'm debating if I want a, a perm or not. I would have to think about that. Um, very tempting. I'm not sure what I'd get just yet, but I definitely, like I said, I'm letting my hair grow because I want to do the victory rolls because I think that'd be so cute. Let's see. So, I'll, or nope. Um, I like the salon shampoo cape towel. Okay, so cape towels. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like a newbie. So, a cape towel, isn't that just like the towel that the salon uses? Or is this something else? Kind of like the hair cutting cape collar. So, if you can show me a photo of that or describe it, that'd be awesome. Alright, folks. Seven more minutes and then I have to go. I've got projects i got to work on when I get home. And I have to go purchase that the fabric. I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait. So then for that gown I'm going to make, what I'm going to do with that one, I posted it on Facebook as a response to uh, somebody's comment. So why I want that floral gown so bad is it's not really for me per se, but I want to use it in one of my stories and I want to put it as a cover to that story and then what I'm going to do is when this story goes on Amazon then um, for one day I'm gonna lower the price to like 99 cents and tell people hey if you want to read this really great story um, 
then on this day, go buy it, leave a review, and um, I would like at least 50 people to review it. And when they do, then out of those people, 50 people who review, or who, however many after that, it doesn't matter, um, then someone is going to win that gown. So if you ever wanted you know, a really femi salon gown, which I think would be kind of fun to wear it as you read my story. <laughs> so there, a 99 cent chance to get the gown that I'm going to make today. So that fabric today I'm buying is for that gown that somebody's going to win at some point. But I got to finish that story first. Um, I got all the, the, the writing for it, like the, the, the speech done for it already, but I got to make it into this story. And then, um, I have a lot of other ideas for, for future stories that I think would be a lot of fun. Okay, do I like pinstripe capes? Yes, I do. So I have two different ones. I've got one that was made here in the US and one that was made in Italy, I believe. And um, they're both gorgeous. I love them both. So those are fun. So I like those when I go to the barbershop. So for me, the barbershop is a place where I wear a pinstripe cape and of course the next strip. Um, so yes, so that's my idea of a barbershop where I go there and they do clipper cuts and they do it really close They won't be like miss. Are you sure that you want to go that short? Because they don't ask me that they're like, okay, I like it. It's fun Let's see we'd love to see you again with a shaved nape haircut <laughs> I will keep that in mind. I'm, I'm sure not I'm sure you're not the only one so I will well, I can't make any promises because right now, like I said, I want to take a break from hair cutting and play around with rollers because I miss those. It's been a while. And so, and I, so it usually takes about a year from head shave to about this length. It takes about a year. So I want to be able to do something else because during that time when it's growing out, you can't really do anything besides coloring. And I did do some coloring, which was fun. Do you like to shave your head? When will be the next time? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I promise I would not. I had to fight to the nail to shave my head back. When was that? So, I think it was last year, wasn't it? The year before? Something like that. So I had to promise my husband that uh, if I shave my head, I would let him grow his hair out long. Uh, he can't do that for work right now, but he plans on growing his hair out super long in a few years. And so last night I was talking to him, I was like, you know what? Since I'm writing these stories that I'm writing, which some of you will probably see, <laughs> I was like, well, I'm going to need somebody to be my model. So I was like, you know what? Go ahead. Grow out that hair. Because with him and long hair, it does not look good. No. But he will be my model. I will put him in rollers and I will learn how to do roller sets <laughs> with his hair when it grows. And I will be very devious. I will use his hair to my advantage. So I've looked at it that way now. Because before I dreaded it. Because him and long hair, he looks like he's wearing a really horrible wig. Really bad. So that is that, is that there. <laughs> And so we'll see. We'll see if he actually will let me um, have him in my chair. I will. I will do things terrible, terrible things to him. <laughs> That's what you get when you marry me. I. I can be vicious, but it's fun. But you will love every minute of it. It's fun. Okay. Let's see. His long hair makes you want him to sit down, chop it off. Yes. Oh my god, if I could show you guys photos of what he looks like with long hair, I, yeah, you would totally understand and totally agree with me. <sighs> but he likes long hair. So, as soon as I told him, yeah, he can do it. He's looking forward to it. I will try not to cut it. But it's kind of funny. The, um, he kind of looks like a girl, which is kind of good in a way. <laughs> but one time, okay, so one time he was driving my car. I took his car in for an oil change. This was, I don't know, how many years ago. And so he's driving my car and I just happened to be behind him. And I'm like, why is this bitch driving so slow? Come on, you know? Cause it's like, I need to drive and this bitch is in my way. I need to turn. And so 
Uh, this car turns, it looks just like my car. Well, my car is very popular, so it's like whatever, everybody has that car. And so um, then I turn and, I'm, and this person's going so slow and it looks like a woman. I'm like, God, come on, bitch, hurry up. I wanna get home. And so and I'm like, and I'm following this person because they're going the exact same way home as I am. And so uh, they parked in my driveway and this woman gets out and it turns out to be my husband. <laughs> But it's, it's funny because uh, he actually has his own dress and he has heels and he does, or I, I kind of confiscated it, but he had his own makeup, which is mine now. He can have it whenever he wants, but uh, I figured, you know, just pull it all together with all the other makeup. I have this huge ass kit of makeup, which I've brought with me to shoots and everything. So it's kind of very helpful. And that way he always knows where his makeup is. It's in with my makeup. So yes. <laughs> And I will say, no, he uh, doesn't like, I don't think he's ever been a sissy, but he's done it because he was an actor at one point and he had to wear, uh, he had to be in drag for some thing he was doing. And so, yeah, he has his own dress and bra and I don't know if he has panties or not, but he can, he might be able to fit into mine. Maybe. We'll see. I've got all sorts of sizes anyway. <laughs> I've got some fun things. All right, let's see. Will I please go for an undercut this time? I can probably do an undercut at some point. Cause yeah, I mean, I, I still have plenty of hair for um, roller sets and things. All right, so time is up. Is there anybody gonna ask me any more questions? I will answer one more question and then I have to go. I'll give you one minute to decide. Otherwise you'll have to save your questions for next time. And as of yet, I do not know when I'll do another YouTube live. It'll probably will be a while. Uh, we'll see. Or just keep staring at me. <laughs> I can stare back. Okay. <laughs> I will stop being silly. All right. So since there is no other questions, you all just have to save your questions another time. I will give these lovely workers a break from hearing me talk about all, all sorts of things. So they're probably <laughs> waiting to kick me out. But anyway, it was fun chatting with you all. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much for helping me decide which fabric to choose for the gown. And I will chat with you all next time. Bye. Have a great day.